this video today, we're going to talk about the three different body types, the ectomorph, the mesomorph, and the endomorph. And I'm going to reveal the best type of training and nutrition guidelines so that you can get the best possible results based off your body type. body tip we're going to talk about is ectomorphs. Ectomorphs are your typical hard gainers, the guys that struggle to put on muscle and are naturally really thin. They have really narrow shoulders, a small waist, and they are naturally really skinny. Now how should they train? Because of their body type, they should do exercises that are going to recruit the most amount of muscles in a given lift. For an example, they're going to benefit more from compound based movements, movements that are going to recruit multiple muscles more than one per a movement versus an isolation movement, they're not gonna see as much of a change. So compound movements, examples of that include your bench press, your squat, your deadlift, your overhead press, chin-ups, rows, things in that nature are gonna recruit multiple muscles per a movement versus a bicep curl or something like a tricep kickback, those are gonna be the most ideal for a hard gainer or an ectomorph. How often should ectomorphs train? Anywhere from like three to four days a week at 40 to 60 minutes per a session. Keep in mind the rest periods should be anywhere from two to about three minutes on heavier lifts because the compound movements are gonna require longer rest periods, typically because you're recruiting multiple muscles for an exercise, so you need longer rest. Also, ectomorphs are gonna see a good return on full body based workouts. Things are gonna recruit more than just one muscle group per workout. They're gonna see the biggest return on their training this way. Now, how much cardio should ectomorphs do? Not that much, very minimal. Anywhere from one day a week really is at most, I'd say. And it should only be about a 10 to 20 minute session of high intensity interval training. Something like sprints, something that's gonna be high intensity with intervals of low intensity. And the reason we're doing this is because they don't want to burn a lot of calories as an ectomorph. That specific body type already has a really fast metabolism. So by doing cardio, they're going to struggle to put on more muscle because they must be in a caloric surplus. And when you do cardio, you're going to burn a lot of calories and you're going to be in a caloric deficit by burning more of calories by doing the cardio. Now, how should ectomorphs eat? Typically in a caloric surplus because they're naturally skinny, so they want to build muscle is their main goal. So with an ectomorph, they wanna take their body weight in, in pounds and multiply it by 15 and then add 500 because this is the amount of calories you should be in a caloric surplus. And this is how many calories they should eat per day. In terms of macronutrients, they wanna eat anywhere from 50% of their diet carbs, 20% of their diet protein, and 30% of their diet fat. The reason it's so high in carbs is because ectomorphs need energy. They need something that's gonna be muscle sparing and carbs do this. Next body type we got is the mesomorph. Now the mesomorph is the naturally muscular person. So the nat naturally muscular guy that has wide shoulders, a skinny waist, you know, puts on muscle easily, loses fat easily, has that body type that just is naturally lean. This is the body type that everyone strives to be. How should they train? Mesomorphs want to do a mixture of both compound and isolation style movements. A good mixture of the two, primarily compound but also isolation to focus on adding more symmetry. They should also have higher muscle frequency and how often should they train anywhere from four to six days a week at around an hour per a workout, sometimes up to an hour and a half depending on more warm-ups and more mobility sessions. How much cardio should a mesomorph do? Anywhere from two to three days a week is good, preferably high intensity again. I would say they can get away with doing less low intensity steady state cardio, like walking on a treadmill on an incline for 20, 30 minutes. However, high intensity two times a week is gonna be in their best interest. Again, doing something like sprint slam balls or battle ropes. Now, how should the mesomorph eat? Typically, they don't need to be in much of a caloric surplus, a little bit above maintenance. Um, so we will say body weight, again, times 15. So body weight in pounds times 15, and then add about 200 on top of that. So slightly above maintenance. And keep in mind that they want to eat a macro split of about 45% of their diet carbohydrates, about 30% of their diet protein, so a little more protein, and about 25% of their diet coming from healthy fats. All right, so the last body type we have is the endomorph. Now, the endomorph is the complete opposite as the ectomorph. They have a round-based body type. 
They also put on fat really easily and they struggle to lose fat. So how should the endomorph train? The endomorph wants to train about 30 to 45 minutes of weight training and about anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes of high intensity interval training. So they're gonna respond best to both a mixture of weights and cardio every single workout. They should also be doing compound movements to burn the most amount of calories. How often should they train? Anywhere from five to six days a week. So they wanna train more frequently. And also their rest period should be under a minute per an exercise. So each set should be anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute per rest. That is the ideal amount of time for rest. And this is to ensure that we keep the heart rate up and we burn more calories because at the end of the day, they want to burn more calories to lose more body fat. How should endomorphs eat? They should eat in a caloric deficit because their main goal is to lose body fat and you must be in a caloric deficit to do so. So again, body weight in pounds times 15, this time minus 500 because they are the opposite of the ectomorph. Because endomorphs are traditionally insulin resistant, they want to eat less carbohydrates than an ectomorph or a mesomorph. So they want to eat a carbohydrate range of actually 20% of their diet coming from carbs, about 30% of their diet coming from proteins, and the other 50% of their diet is going to be coming from healthy fats. That is very important and a critical thing for the macronutrient split for endomorphs is that they want to have a low amount of carbohydrates in their diet because of insulin resistance. Keep in mind that no person is exactly one of these body types. They are usually a hybrid of two different types. The reason I made this video today is because everyone is different and everyone responds differently to different diets and different workout plans. So take everything today, apply it, see what happens. I guarantee you're going to see a change. But remember, you can be a hybrid of two different body types. So do your best and continually implement and you will see a change. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down there so you never miss a video. We have a new video coming out every single week. And also, you can watch the one up there. We have a newer video. The video we just had last week come out. Uh, but again, guys, I want to say thanks again for your time. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.